Vero. Angelo Rome, the Italian second. That quiet weight, able to stick around. Lives in Pinerolo. Of course, Italy's women's team has only ever played in one Olympic winter game when they were the host in 2006. Agnes Nockenhauer was part of this team that won the 2018 Olympic winter games. The bronze at the most recent. And Agnes herself is a silver as well from 2014. Interesting and thing here, they're just going to call for a technical timeout. Agnes actually threw the wrong color of stone, so Italy is actually yellow. This, this happens uh, sometimes, uh, and it, I'll give her a break, it's early in the morning. <laughs> Surprisingly, it happens more often than you think, and you see, oh, they're at the, wor uh, the World Championship, this sh shouldn't happen. No, it does. Sometimes you just, you're throwing back and forth all the time between colors all week, so you usually just have a player put their feet, uh, as you can see Sophia there with the, her feet that went around the rock, and they just put it back in place. Send the other rock back to the other end. Now, would it make a difference, the stone that just went down on his throne, will it react differently? Because it's now, if they throw the same one again? Yeah, it might. It's probably not significant enough, and it is the first end, so I wouldn't be too concerned about it. But they likely asked the Italians which stone they wanted to... Or, sorry, with the Sweden, which stone they wanted to actually, like, whatever stone it was that Agnes was is supposed to throw, they would have made sure that that was the one that went down there. This time, Agnes will throw the correct color, the red stone. And the teams do have opposite uniforms, so they'll have a light and a dark that they'll wear. If you're throwing red stones, you're wearing the, the dark. In this case, for Sweden, it's their blue jerseys. And for Italy, th wearing the white, throwing yeah. the yellow. Yes, that's exactly right. 